Hello po, kumusta? Sa video na ito, papakita ko lang kung paano gumawa or mag-crochet ng face mask na may lining. Tapos, pwede siyang lagyan ng filter dito sa loob. Okay. Na madali lang siya. Explain ko lang kung ano ang system na gagawin natin. Dito is pa increase siya dito. Magdadagdag tayo ng chains or stitch. Tapos ito is same size na siya from here to here. Ang pagdating dito is magdadecrease tayo. Kaya ng shape niya. Ito yung sa gitna. Kumaga ito yung sa may ilong. Okay? So, ang kailangan natin dito is a 100% cotton na yarn. And then, gagamit tayo ng size 3 na hook. Crochet hook. Tapos, kagamit tayo ng karayom. Kailangan medyo malaki yung mata ng karayom so may pasok yung yan sa loob. And then, ang scissors. And then, for the lining, kailangan natin ng piece of cloth na magkasya ito so ganito lang siya ano size nito hindi yan hindi ko sinasabi na hindi ko sabi na exact size yung gagawin yung kagay sa akin kasi depende yan kung ganun ka laki yung gagawin yun na na face mask Itong cloth ko is 5 and a half by 6 and a half. So, gaganun lang siya. Ganyan lang siya for later. Tapos, pakat nyo lang kanon kung paano ganun ang pagsukat ng lining. si dito papantay tapos pay kailangan may extra sya dito for folding okay and of course kailangan nyo nang sinulit at saka karayom para sa pagtahi handso lang gagamitin natin kumbaga kamay kakamayin lang natin yung pagtatahi or pwede rin Kung meron kayong sewing machine, much better. Okay? So, umpisaan na natin yung ating face mask. Pagawin nyo lang. Dita nyo yung straight sya. Turn here. And then, grab nyo yung middle. Get your hook. And then, pull mo lang sya. To tighten up. Okay. And chain 15. Luwagan nyo lang siya. Huwag nyo sikipan yung pag pag ano nyo. Pag si chain. I have here my 15 chains. And, dagdagan nyo siya ng isa pa. So, 16 all in all. So, ang gagawin is, magkita yun yung second chain. Skip the first chain. Tapos, second chain. Grab nyo siya. Yung sa likod lang. Yung likod lang. Alam mo yung mga mga bump dito. Here. 
yung bump here. Yun ang kukunin natin. So, single crochet lang siya. 15 single crochets. Medyo, hindi siya madali kasi nasa likod. Kailangan lang natin ng pasensya. So, I have here my 15 single crochets. So, ang gagawin natin now is chain 1. And turn your work. And single crochet 15 until the last row. Single crochet until here in the last okay so I'm going to finish my 15th single crochet medyo tricky siya pag nasa last and then chain one and then turn your work then single crochet seven stitches one, two, three, and grab some yarn. Here in the eighth, eighth chain, I got an ang three single crochets in the same stitch. So, ito yung pala yung gitna natin. Ito yung ating increase. And then, single crochet, the rest seven stitches. then chain one turn your work and then single crochet all the stitches so this time wala siyang increase kasi ang gagawin natin is increase one and then or increase one row and then single crochet in the next row without any increases Now, at the end of this row, you should have 17 single crochets. Kasi nag increase na ng 2. Dito sa may quick natin. nag increase na ng 2. Okay? So, now chain 1. Then, single crochet 8. Stitches, yeah? From here, 8 stitches. Single crochet in every way. so I have here eight two four six eight and then three single crochet in the ninth stitch kung meron kayong marker para hindi kayo masyadong malito you can put marker you know where the three so one two three in the middle so alam natin kung saan yung gitna okay and then single crochet here to the the rest of eight stitches So I'm going to finish the last stitch. And now chain one and turn. Always chain one and turn. And then 
single crochet in the first stitch and then now kasi nag add na tayo kanina so ang gagawin natin is single crochet all the way so yun yung gagawin natin like other row is nag increase the next row just single crochet without any increase Remove the marker. Put the marker back. And then single crochet. I'm going to finish the last, this row. So, if you are following mine, you should have 19 single crochet here. Okay, so that's what this is the pattern. First, we have to increase this one, increase here, then second one, single crochet without any increase, and then increase again. So far, so far, we have 19 stitches. So, ang gagawin natin next is mag increase ulit tayo. So, chain one. Oh. turn since ang kanina previous row natin is nag 8 7 this is a 7 eight. so 9 stitches so we'll single crochet 9 stitches and then the 10th stitch we're going to make 3 stitches at the same place at the same stitch and then single crochet again and the next is Single, the, uh, single crochet all the way then increase again single crochet increase until you will have 27 single crochets without increase yeah 27 of these so should have this 7 here 8 9 10 11 12 should have 12 increase and then single crochet okay like this you can see here this are foundation right is 15 15 and it was you will stitch here seven and then we increase at the eight so it's f7 8 9 10 11 12 so you should one two three four five one two three four five six six rows with the increase Okay, and until you will have 27 single crochet. And then you stop. Okay, and then I will meet you there. Yeah. Okay, I'm done with my rows for the increase. If you're following mine, you should have 27 single crochet after the last increase. Let's count. And then, kung naguguluhan kayo kung tama ba, balik ta rin nyo. Just a little holes here, like that. Here, this hole. Ito, tip ko lang siya. Ano mga hole dito, mga butas. Kung saan tayo nag-increase. If may six holes kayo. Okay, so... Here's our one, then two, three, four, five, and six. This is the last, this one is the last increase. And this single crochet 27 here. Okay, so let's continue. And then 
chain one then single crochet all stitches it's always difficult in the first single crochet 27 stitches until you will have or put mark here 14 rounds single crochet for 14 rounds without any increase okay this will be our this one this part here here okay then I will meet you if you have your 14 rounds of single crochet then I will meet you there and then we will do the decrease or pagbabawas na mga arrows or stitches okay so I have now I am now in my last stitch the fourth and third row of our single crochets we started here this is for the row so if you know if you are in uh if you made 14 rows like that and and then you can count from here the one two three four five six seven so since this is two rows in each see just one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so 13 14 that's how we know that we have 14 stitches 14 rows i mean of single crochets now we will do the decrease so to chain one turn your work then single crochets 12 stitches because our increase was uh what last was 12 we get the increase so we'll start here 12 stitches to make to start with our decreases okay single crochet 12 five here two four six eight ten twelve so let's do the decrease so three stitches together then that's how we do the decrease and then single crochet again the rest of 12 stitches And the last so after the decrease we will do our single crochet together not I mean from here to the la to the end so parang baliktad lang sa ginawa natin kanina earlier we did increase increase and then single crochet increase single crochet increase single crochet and now that is this other way around We'll do the decrease single crochet decrease single crochet decrease single crochet until you will have 15 single crochets like here so it'll be equal here to the end okay so you have your two more stitches for the single crochet round Difficult in the end. And chain one, turn the last step, the decrease here we did 12 stitches and then we did decrease 3 stitches together. 
and then 12 single crochet here so 12 12 and then we did the single crochet so the next decrease we'll, uh, we'll make 11 single crochet or if you have your marker you can put your marker on so you is not a bit confusing me i'll just make my 11 single crochet because what we are doing now is 12 here and then 11 10 9 8 10 until you get 7 for degrees and the uh, single crochet will be 15 like this okay just let me show you one more round for this one so i'll have two four six seven eight nine ten eleven and then let's do the decrease so one two then three then wrap it together okay and then single crochet 11 again and then next will be single crochet all the way and then decrease again decrease okay until you will have 15 as what i have said earlier so i'll meet you there when you've completed your 15 stitches here here i mean okay so i have here my last two stitches it's 15 row 15 stitches i mean so we're gonna add one more of 15 so it will be like this because we made two rows here of 15 right so I'll do equal it Sorry. And then chain one. Then we can uh, single crochet the edge here. Like this. Okay. We did single crochet here. We're gonna make our strap here, then single crochet and then strap. Okay, we did our chain one right, so let's go back in the same stitch. It's difficult see then here make single crochet from look see here can see I'll show you single crochet here and here you can see in the middle single crochet here and then the next okay and here until here and then if you're in the corner, single crochet and then chain one and then continue here, okay? I oh, know, I'll meet you here. 
So I have now two more stitches from the corner. You can see it well. And then let's put your side. You can hide this there. And then just slip stitch after single crochet slip slip stitch then chain 38 ito yung sa tenga natin strap so that the the size of this one it depends kung gaano kaluwag yung pag kakadena nyo or pag chain nyo depends how loosely or tightly it is so I'm going to chain mine 38 and you can always adjust it try to put in your ear and then adjust it there is enough size or enough uh, it's long enough or not okay so I have your 38 chains then let's connect it to the other side slip just slip stitch in here and then the single crochet in the same stitch and do the single crochet again all the way to the end and I will meet you here in this corner So I'm going to corner, chain one, the last, and then slip stitch. See it all. Then chain 38 again, or your size. If you are chaining loosely, then you chain less so you have my 38 chains what to do now is to slip stitch here and Cut the yarn and make some enough to weave in your ends later here. Pull the yarn off. And now what I always do, what I always do, get my tapestry needle. What I always do is I want to make it strong here. So put your needle inside there in the corner where you put this where you make a slip stitch, go back and then to the last chain so it will be more stronger. Okay, and then after that. And you can wave your ends. Let's just tie your tails. And you can do this in the other tail. I think that's enough. We can remove the or cut it later. It's still stuck here. Oh, 
was just the other day, you know? And do the same as what we did earlier. And then let's wave in the ends. Then we can cut the yarn up. So here it is. This is how it looks like. Now we can do the lining. You can see here like this. We created a mini bag. <laughs> so let's put because I have many four. Let's do the lining. Let's do that. Just fold your mask like this to half and get your piece of cloth be sure that the right side are facing together just fold it into half and then just put your face mask there Like that then mark it down if you have like any marker I have here my pencil just do it like this I always do So this one I know to put the mark. Like that. Or if you want to make it easier, you can put like this in the piece of paper or hard material like cartoon or something maybe have some or like this but just takes time like this and then draw and then cut the yarn not the yarn like this Cut like that. Okay. And here. Then you can cut it. But I'll just do I'll just do like this what I had earlier. Okay, now you cannot see well my mark because I'm using pencil. Now what I have to do I'll make this or just cut this, make some space. Space from away from the mark that you made. You can see here's my mark. If you can see it well. Here's my mark. The other side is here. Just 
then I will put the other side to hold this two like this. Just like we have a curve part, right? And if you are going to sew it or if you are going, if you have a sewing machine, just do here where your mark was or your mark is here. Just sew it for your mark here. Only here, this side first. And if you are on the you are you are using a thread on needle I'll show you just to I'll use the block so you can see but I will use my searcher later just do like this from the mark just so it will mark okay so since I'm gonna use my lock machine so I'll, I'll cut it here and I will show you what is the result okay so I just did mine did my lock machine so what we're going to do now is we have to label this one first you can see it's not straight right because our face mask here is also not straight so I'll just make it straight here be sure not to cut your so that you're just sit stitch early And then we are going to do now is to fold this. It's like a just my roller. Can you see it? a quarter of an inch fold it twice so first quarter of an inch and then fold it again okay if you have some pins if you're mine I'm going to pin it in the other, at the back on the right side because I'm going to sew from here. Kakamain ko lang siya. On the other side too. Quarter of an inch, then fold twice. Oh, sorry, hindi niyo pala nakikita. Then try and you not to know what is right or right side or wrong side. You can see here you and our decrease 
part it's like a little harder like a bump that side this is the wrong side or the inside of the mask okay and this is the front you can see here when you have single crochet in front here and now wrong side together wrong side of the lining and wrong side of the face mask let's just see if we have a size enough just do the here like this let you want to stretch it a bit so we know that it's the right size that we are going to do with yeah now the tie in cushion Just so it if my wrong kayong sewing machine much better. Since my sewing machine is not working well, I'll use my hand. Just do like this. Be sure that your thread is the same color as your lining. Okay, I'll sew this one till here and onto the other side. Okay, here I'm done with this side. I cannot really, this is a long list, doesn't look nice, but uh, if you are, well, you have another idea. How to sew it, then it's better. Okay, so I can click out the other side, and now we are going to attach it on our face mask. Just I didn't cut my thread, so I can just sew it connect to the other one. Put your side here in the middle. Put some pins. Put the other side too. Then just stretch it a bit. And then pin here in the middle so it will not move. And now, tie in the inside. So, hold long natin siya like this. And then secure it with the pins. And set all. And the, the other side. So I have pins both sides. So to tie in natin. Masarang karayong here. Tay 
kailangan meron kayong medyo mahaba long thread so kasha siya Let's do the invisible stitch. Yeah, that's the long invisible stitch. Don't uh, stitch the other side, okay? To do the invisible stitch to here the side here then grab a bit of yarn okay you can see it long Do it the other side too. You can almost see the stitch. Then I will continue mine, yeah. And continue, continue yours too. Okay, then I will meet you later if I'm done with the other side. Okay, I'm almost done, just making some stitches to secure. Sorry, you can see it. Just wave your hands here and back. And then time to cut our thread. Remove the pins. So our face mask is done. Put the lining here inside. You can put some tissue or what lining you want to put there. 